Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival Series. This is Coplar Farms. So as you can see on the right hand side corner remove tops. Potatoes are ready. Yes sir. That is a great thing. So and also our money. <laughs> it's never been so high. So this is absolutely fantastic and we have lots of grass also here but this will stay and uh, yeah I've been forwarding time and feeding the animals and we are getting a lot of money out of those that from the honey and uh, also from the uh, garden people are just lining up for those on the uh, market stall over there so uh, I sold the meat chickens here, the poultry, and uh, they got old. I got uh, 43 dollar uh, euros from that, so I'm not gonna buy new ones over there anymore. So, and also we got a uh, few cultivating contracts, and also the fertilizing, as you saw in the morning, I did uh, one, one fertilizing con uh, contract and uh, drove drove back from the back road and it was so nice scenery that I think I I took a little clip of that that was pretty awesome so yeah let's take a look of our finances a little bit as you can see we are in positive every day new vehicles were that uh, on Sunday we bought that that uh, wheel order and I think we're gonna need it today so as and the uh, sold animals there are those I've been deleting uh, selling those chickens that when we are full on the uh, on the chicken coop so every other day you have to sell the oldest ones away so yeah mm, and contracts were on Sunday we got the most and a couple of days they were none and yeah I think it was it on Sunday where we harvested a couple of contracts I can't remember but we have a load of milk here, <laughs> absolutely. These are just crazy. So we can sell two loads of milk here. And uh, do we have a, mm, yeah, just a, in a while we have another box. I have two over, over the, uh, over the uh, market still waiting to be sold. 
So let's check first of all this milk and get that going. Yeah, so potato harvest, this has been <laughs> waited for a year now, so I'm really glad this is finally going to happen. It was crazy. So 2000. Let's see just how many, how much we can get from this. So uh, on the corner of the house you can see a couple of egg boxes there. Let's just sell this. I think it's going to be quite good. And uh, what we are going to do next after that yeah we are going to buy a new tractor yeah so a little over thousand the thousand liters so that's pretty good yeah we are going to buy a new tractor and I'm sad to say that Massey the uh, Ferguson correct <laughs> yeah Ferguson needs to go it's not we are not uh, needing it anymore if that's the first tractor that we had but uh, yeah and this is this is going to be look at the paint job and the roof it is, this has been a, in hard work 22 uh, 32 hours yeah but uh, I like the look a bit now now it looks like uh, it's in use but yeah, I'll get the trailer back and uh, get the Ferguson ready and we are heading to the store and uh, yeah, we will sell those egg, egg boxes. I think there is a one on the coop also, so I will see you in just a second. Okay, one more little, not so full egg boxes here and let's see how much this will go 305 oh that's a good price yeah it was pretty full okay so Fergie is here ready and yeah this has been serving us really well 29 hours on this guy and yeah quite a bit I haven't used any workers accidentally a couple of times but uh, I've done all the hours for <laughs> both tractors by myself and these implements are just for this tractor though so these will go also and uh, I'm gonna buy the uh, upgrade the potato harvester but uh, yeah, I didn't manage to get the old one with this combination here, so I will sell it later, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Repair <laughs> two. Maybe we can, let's check, yeah. So yeah, this can be repaired and not this one. So let's sell this. Or, or Okay, 50,000, wow, we are actually making money here, <laughs> we got the harvester and everything, but yeah, from the property income, that's the main thing, obviously, but uh, I, mm, I bet I would have survived, even though without those, but uh, yeah, we are going to get the Deutsch D80. That is pretty good and we will take the narrows because we are going to uh, use the use the harvester with this so we don't damage the potatoes and then we get the harvester uh, 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 where is it potato technology here and obviously this guy I have seen many people using this but we are gonna get this seven, uh, 45 horsepower but we got 80 <laughs> with the uh, Deutsch 
Alright. That looks pretty nice. Old. Yeah. Such nice look at this. Oh, this is my god damn. Hang on, hang on. We gotta get this a little bit lower. Wow. What the hell? Let's take the master. A little bit down. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you can hear me. Oh, this is pretty loud. Let's take a little bit more. Okay. Now it's probably good. Alright. So. What? Why doesn't it go? What is going on here? Look at that. Okay. I didn't see that coming. Can I? Oh my god, this is just too heavy here. Oh shoot. The dealer said that it would work. Hmm. Oh my. This got a hazard, but the other tractor would, would manage with this. Uh, would manage with this guy. 45. I think we have 45 on the. Uh, yeah, 45. <sighs> problems, problems. All the time. Well, this is a little bit quieter here. Uh, okay, I don't really like the uh, squareness of the wheel, but this had a quite a obviously that's the reason why this had a little megabyte amount. Yeah, hmm, not too, not too impressed, but I think we can deal with it. Uh, really loud. Yeah, okay. Um, let's leave this car here and go to the uh, store with this one. And we can put more weight on that. Yeah, so now this one seems really, <laughs> really, really uh, quiet. Hmm. I am having a second thought here. I am having, we got so much money that I did have one, one tractor in mind. Also. Yeah, this can handle it. It has, we could also put 300 kilograms or more on the front but I you know I'm such an idiot <laughs> I can't live with this Deutsch we gotta make one change hang on for a minute I will I will get this sorted and we will see you back in the store I'll go out of the game and get that other, other mod that I wanted so I'll take a look early also. Alright guys, so I am back. And as you can see, <laughs> our money has gone down temporarily. I just wanted to show you this, but you are looking at the happy man now. You know, we got this local Polish Ursus. Yeah, I went to the open cabin just uh, for now, but uh, this can be configured also with the all sorts of different kind of cabins and yeah you can see the quality here on this mod yeah i like this not so much that much of that and also this got this uh front loader which is absolutely amazing and this has been bothering me since uh, quite a while you know because this looks so so new that uh, but uh, 
didn't have any other options. All the all the ones are not available until you get this eighteen thousand euro tractor. So and also this bucket seems to me a little bit too new. So this will go back. Thank you. And we got cancel this one and this one. Yes, sir. No, this is vintage. Yes. So this has. Oh yeah, and the sounds are now. <laughs> Look at the pipe. Sounds are now, you know, back to normal. And I got this with the uh, uh, narrow tires. All right. Yeah, I like the gear, sh gear shifting also. Yeah, now now we're talking, now we're talking. Yeah, and th this is a, uh, you know. Oh. How does that, uh... Is that the whole... <laughs> doesn't, doesn't that pocket pocket tip at all? How do you... What the hell? How do you tip it? Up and down. What? Oh, it tips like that. That. <laughs> I can manage with that. But that's look. That looks old. Have to uh, just uh, memorize it how it works. But anyway, yeah. So I think this will be uh, our harvesting tractor. If this can manage with this uh, harvester, yeah, it's, uh, I think the wheels are on the ground still. But um, I think we could we could still make uh, make you know this little better. We can get uh, let's just quickly customize this and maybe we use this as a harvesting tractor because we can put see, more weight on the front here repair it at the same time and uh, yeah look at that we can put 600 on there and we don't need that one anymore yeah we go with that it costs 600 but I think it's better yeah we will do that but uh, uh, I will see you at the back at the farm and uh, yeah, uh, we gotta plan a little bit how to uh, do this harvest and how to manage the potatoes. All right, guys, so we are back here at the farm and uh, I've done a little bit planning here and we need this guy. Come on, start. <laughs> Always does. Yeah, we need this one, this wheel loader to handle the boxes, and I think I will storage the boxes, the potato boxes, to the uh, shelter which where the harvester is now. So we gotta find some somewhere else to put that guy. So uh, the plan is that uh, I will come with the trailer when it's full over here and tip it on the left side over here just along the road all the way and then we can uh, then we can uh, with this guy we can uh, lift those potato boxes away or down and uh, load with this front loader from the pile over there yeah, that's that is what we are going to do, and I think I I will go to the village and uh, you know get somebody to help me because I got the money for that. And why not? Why not? It's not a challenge, so I think I can use helpers. Ain't that the, how the how the thing goes? All right, so let's get this one. I think we don't have to talk the 
potatoes and now we have the weight over there so everything seems to be working just fine and uh, yeah I'll move the uh, trailer over there and we will get the conveyor on the on the over there also and the, we will then start to uh, collecting these potatoes but uh, maybe I will do by myself from here and to the left first of this let's get these tires on the on the right spot here and lower and we need to get you know the uh, unload here like so and turn it on and here we go Yes, it does work. You don't have to talk to talk those. And six kilometers per hour, but I think it's okay. And it it seems to be taking a quite wide, you know, path. So that is really good. Yeah, this works. Not much, much better than the uh, John Deere because it it uh, threw it on the uh, other side, so it's pretty. And on this row here, yes, just perfect. And does it this also throw it somehow? And the other, other pass it did. Okay, I will just do this little bit over here and then I will get the worker going and then we will uh, set that conveyor also operating. All right, there's my buddy Martin doing his thing. He's helping me out. He has a farm over over to the center of the village, so his harvest has already been done. So on the summer, so he came by and helped me a little bit here. So let's get this conveyor going. Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. <laughs> How is, is this going to work? I don't have an idea. But the, loving the tractor. Matching colors also. <laughs> Alright. So, I think this will take me a while, but... I don't mind. I got time until Sunday midnight. <laughs> Okay, let's hook this guy. Hook this guy on here. I don't know what his Martin is. Oh, he lives quite a headland, but we will take it. That those those rolls on the other way then. Yeah, that needs a quite a big turning, but he's taking it on the safe side. Uh, come on, hook it. Oh my god. Why don't you want to hook there? Hmm. Another set back here. What the hell? Okay, 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 okay. Souls, all, all, every time. Pipe out there, but there, yeah, yeah. Oh, I really would have liked this, this trailer. This is just awesome looking. 
Okay. I will be back again and see what I can find from the mod hub. Probably. Okay. I will see you in the bit when there's another trailer on that exact spot. Okay, not exactly the same spot, but but uh, it will do. So now, at least we got the working one, because I bought another one of these conveyors at the store and tested it out, so now it's working. Uh, yes. Oh, turn, turn, turn. And we are doing pretty good over there. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to save this now, because you never know. Okay. So, how does this guy work, by the way? Uh, that's probably the trailer. Yeah, tip side left, that will do for us. So, this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe we will just start from here. And probably we need to scoop a little bit of this potato because... Potatoes, because this will take a quite a wide turn and I don't know about the tires on the... On the, on the trailer and the, on this guy here, because I tried to take a narrow, but it didn't say narrow, but yeah. Narrows we have on the tractor, but maybe we need to shovel it a little bit. Pipe out. So that will go like so. And we will probably need to go a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah, this is good. And turn a belt. Alright. And lower belt. So it doesn't need to unload or does it automatically, I don't know. Oh my god. Really? Come on. No. Oh my god, oh my god, this is getting how much power does that need to... 42. We got 45. Is the trailer so heavy? No, it's not. What the hell is going on here? Does it hit on the ground so much that? No, oh, this is pretty slow with this also. Oh man, oh man. Hmm. I probably need to change tractors and... Let's try this. Maybe this is a little higher. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is getting frustrating already. Oh, do I really need to change, change tractors one more time? I'm not giving more up though. That's for sure. Turn on. Lower. Come on, little you yes, you TP, you got me again. Yeah, this is just, yeah, this tractor is, is my favorite in this game. This is such an unbelievable thing. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Why 
does it always stay like that? No. Do I need to? No, it just wants to unload it. Okay. Don't keep it screaming over there. Let's just give Martin this tractor over here. He's got the new one. This is latest model. It's seven year year seventy model. So couple of years old model. I think we will just get him going over here and uh, unload here and work around. Oh, wow. He's got the ponytail going today. Alright. So, I think this will be uh, time for a little time lapse. I will get this uh, thing going and uh, also unloading the little clips here and there and boxing the potatoes also so I will see you probably when this field is done I found a picture we took many years ago when I said to you we would never grow old Messages I've saved that I never send Cause I don't know you, but I used to back then I remember that I was drunk out my mind When we kissed for the first time In the back of your car we passed out Counting stars Promised all these years we pack our things and disappear I never thought I would see you here After all this time Safe and sound after all this time. Okay, guys, <laughs> welcome back. So, this thing probably will take me forever, and uh, the yield of the field it was. Oh, what's, what's going on in here? Why don't you go into the bo box? We gotta lift it probably a little bit. Yeah, so the yield from the field was 53,905 liters, and that is all in here. We have one box over there already in the shelter, but uh, from the yield, 
one could argue that uh, my estimations on precision farming were spot on. So that was pretty amazing yield, I think so. So my thing is over there on the other field harvesting that ready and we are here boxing these potatoes or I am here. So I probably will need to figure something out with this uh, boxing thing and yeah as you saw I had to change the uh, ground loader it wouldn't pick up from the ground ground at all oh, it was really really hard and that that, that, that all the one didn't work but I'm quite quite happy with this one also this looks pretty old also so it's okay but uh, yeah I have had to or have 18 potato boxes and these are the ones that we can sell to the uh, with these boxes to the market so store but yeah uh, I don't know maybe I have to maybe I do have to think about something conveyor thing or something something to make this process a little bit faster this day this day will take forever but uh, I probably will think about something but I wanna try out one thing by the way is it full already? yes it is and it's all going on the ground let's try to sell on the uh, cell phone too uh, do I need the uh, box turner to sell it these I think I probably do, and then we, <laughs> then I'm, I'm forced to maybe buy an, the stall front loader back because this old old equipment doesn't take it. So please work, please work. Get some taters for the people. No. Does it tip? No. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. I would need that. I need that thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. No can do. But I will. I will do it probably on the next episode, yeah, this is going long enough now, so... You will see it on the montas, I will try to sell this... One a day, at least, or two a day, these boxes, but... Yeah... We will do it like that, and obviously... We need to, uh... We need to sell those potatoes on most of them. Uh, oh, come on. Oh my, yeah, my wheel order is too wheel drive. <laughs> the wheels are off the ground. Yeah, so. Yeah, I probably need to sell the, uh, at least the other field on the bulk seller point, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. All right, that's that's the episode today. Potato harvest. Quite a uh, few problems, but uh, I think we got over them. And yeah, hopefully I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye.